Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon. A little bit of a somber ending in the last episode, episode 12, but we're here on episode 13, and we get the results of the Frugal fight. 200 gold, 2,000 experience, and another magic item called the Gravity Grabber. I figured that the last episode should probably end on what it was. And also, you may notice Lavitz's experience bar not moving. Dart did learn a new addition, Crush Dance. Rose has also leveled up, and so has Hashel. Both level 14. I still have some place for shelter. We can hide underneath here. I'll help. I cannot let you. Let me do it. When I am moving like this, I don't feel pain. I owe you and Lavitz a debt of gratitude. Lavitz is no more. But we are still alive. Being alive means we can do anything we want, right? I think it is enough for now. I think Lavitz would agree with me. <laughs> Reminds me of what Lavitz happily told me about you. That he had met guys he could finally call friends. Now, I understand why. Dart, Shayna, Hashel, and Rose. Lavitz was my most loyal and strongest knight, and at the same time, he was my precious friend. Yes, he was a great guy. I would like to show you my gratitude. Thank you. He was out of luck. I didn't know he had the Dragon Buster. If I had known it, I would have stopped Lavitz. Dragon Buster? What are you talking about? It's a weapon from the old world, made only to kill dragons. Even with the almighty Dragoon armor, it is a mere shroud in front of a Dragon Buster. Lloyd, what kind of plot is he weaving? Hmm. Well, now we have access to our team. If you wanted to go ahead and look at your uh, status here, you'll actually see Albert has taken the place of Lavitz in our party and inherited the, dr the Jade Dragon Spirit. So now Albert, the King of Bale, will actually be joining us in our, uh, in our time. And, and Lavitz, my friends, he's actually gone. Let's go ahead and talk to Shayna. We're not going to be like this forever, right? Talk to Hashel. Now it is more complicated than simply looking for your daughter. I'm okay. I can go look for her some other time. But we have something we have to do now. You found the way, thanks to Shayna, didn't you? The only thing left is which way to go. Your Majesty Albert, what did Lloyd take from you that time? I need a little time. I need to think more. Okay. Let's see what Rose is thinking. I feel sorry for making you accompany us into such a mess. I am the one following you. Anyway, the Zill will be finished soon if we don't do something. I am looking forward to watching what you will do in the future. I guess I have to talk about it with you. The truth about what Lloyd took from me. Everything about it. Hmm. The story goes back 11,000 years ago, 
Winglies, who ruled the Earth, were defeated in the Dragon Campaign and disappeared. However, their sacred objects were scattered around the world. They contained their magic power concealed in them, which only they could use. One of them was handed down in Serdio, and it has been sealed inside the body of each crowned heir because of the fear that the power could bring evil. The sacred object is the secret treasure of Serdio which has been taken, the Moon Gem. Where did Lloyd find out about it? I was foolish. I bought his intelligence and employed him as an advisor. Probably he was employed by Imperial Sandora. That's right. Once he obtains the secret treasure, he is the crowned heir of Serdio, both in name and reality. The birth of the conqueror, King J Dole. That would be the end of Basil. His Majesty King Albert is still alive here. The war is not over yet. Basil is not finished. What is a king to do if he doesn't have a castle to go back to and a large force to protect him? Well? Indeed, I am helplessly alone. However, as the Dragoons of Yore led humans to victory, we still have a chance to overcome. We have only one target. Emperor Dole in the Black Castle, which also looks like a volcano of some kind. You have such a daring strategy, but it's not bad. Let's do it. We can do this together. My Iron Fist may be able to help you. I will show them the full force of my lance, which I learned how to use from Lavitz. Lavitz, we won't let your death be in vain. Yeah! We're going to Kazass! Kiss that, kiss, kiss, kick ass. Now you get to choose your party yet again, and I would recommend putting in uh, Albert over here. And we're actually gonna move uh, Shayna out, and we're going to put uh, Mr. Hashel here. Or actually, let's uh, let's put uh, Rose in there instead of Hashel. Cool, cool, cool. I think that's a, a good thing. Ooh, here we go. Black Castle. It seems Helena fair. Don't be so anxious. I got what I need. Leaving the girl at large is one of your schemes, huh? It's none of your business. It doesn't matter. I will soon hold sway over all of Serdio, and your plan will be completed. No, it's just the beginning. At least, be careful not to get carried away. Don't be burnt in a red fire. Nobody can stop me. I will not, even if I sell my soul to the devil. South of Serdio. We find ourselves back on the world map. We actually have to go through the forest now and head to Kazes, which... Ugh... Well, I went ahead and skipped the forest because I don't think you really need to see me run through that for a 20th time or however many times he's actually done that. All right, so we're going to head down over here to the south of Sir... Every single time. Sergio, the south of Sergio. Uh, you'll notice that we can no longer get to Helena Prison. Helena Prison, there is no path uh, uh, available, but what we can do is we can actually head south to... Oh my god like i was saying my dear little friends we can head into this place right here which is the black castle in kazaz 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 this my friends is the seat of the imperial sandora and it has some of the coolest music it's weird because the castle to me from the outside looks like a like a volcano like a mechanized volcano you aren't you new here uh yes i am all right so first things first we want to head into this room right over here right to our left as soon as you walk in 
because right in these barrels, between two barrels, we will find one of six Stardust that we can actually find here in the town of Kazas. First, the dragon dies. Then those in Basil lower their guard. And taking advantage of that, attack the royal capital. Hmm. Even losing the dragon must have been part of the plan. That's our Emperor Dole. They say that the battle at the Seventh Fort and Hoax was part of a strategy to completely destroy the knighthood. And it worked. There is a ladder here that in the back that we can go up, but there's nothing actually there, so I would avoid it for now. Now, it is worth mentioning that this is a really good time to farm out the rest of those, the money that you need for uh, more legendary casts before, well, the end of disc one, because we are approaching the very last episode of disc one. So right over here, uh, if we go up this ladder, which is what I was trying to do, but I'm a mess. We can get something out of this chest, which is an attack ball. And of course, right in this, right here, always find something good in these kinds of messy places. Two out of six Stardust. We're cruising, guys. All right, and then we want to go ahead and uh, might as well talk to these guys just for funsies. Are you here to register as well? Uh, no, I'm good. No. That's right. <laughs> Making a killing by taking advantage of victories. Not the thing for little bunks to do. Go away. Hey, pal. I just registered. It'll be easy money for me. Hey, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What? It's the registration to be a mercenary. You said let's rank in some money by joining the Sandoras. Uh, hey, you can't feel so confident anymore. Uh, somebody defeated the dragon. In addition, Helena has fallen. Uh, I don't want to register. I take it back. What, you can't do it? Why? My grandpa's sick. See, this is my brother. He came here to get me. Well, uh, so long then. I gotta go. Bye. It's so stupid with registration. We only get that kind recently. The quality of the mercenaries is declining. Well, good for you for not being mercenaries. <laughs> I don't... I listen, I, <laughs> there's no point in that scene whatsoever except to know that maybe things aren't as confident for the Sandora as they once thought like a couple minutes ago, right? Right over here is a room that we can go to. Uh, which just so happens to be an inn that we can we can go talk to. There's also this room is warm and comfortable because of this fire. Isn't that so nice? Uh, there is actually nothing that we can get in here, but I just wanted to show that this room did exist. Uh, this is the inn, by the way. So you can you can talk to these. It's been 20 years since the war started. Could you imagine how many customers came here? Do you want to know? You'll get a kick out of it. Uh, probably a lot. Uh, but we're not going to pay. We're actually just going to walk away um, because, because there's just no... Oh, goodbye! Okay, funny story. So I actually uh, am recording this uh, in the future because I recorded this video twice. And in my second take, I forgot to go right across the way here to go into this room, which is actually super important. Thank you, Time Lord, in the comments of this video uh, for letting me know uh, that I forgot to grab the Twister Glaive that we could get in this chest right here, which is actually super, super useful. I had to make sure that I came and showed this. Uh, I did in the original video. I didn't in in the next one, but I did it in the final one. That's all that matters. So uh, this is a weapon for Mr. Albert here, and it is incredibly, incredibly good. Uh, it is wind-based, and look at that. Look at how much damage that actually adds. Nine additional. Oh, so, so strong. So let's go ahead and equip the Twister Glaive, which is going to be super, super useful for a boss fight that we have coming up in the next episode. Okay, and then we can leave. And uh, and now, and now uh, past Corey can take over the video. And instead, we actually want to head into this room right here, which is a, uh, a weapon shop. Because there is some stuff that we can actually get here that I think you're going to be uh, pretty excited about. Can I talk to you a little? You guys look like adventurers, too. Well, well, I can tell just from how you look. <laughs> In addition, you have been on a very risky adventure. Well, well, I can smell it from your aura. By the way, I have a great story to tell you because you appreciate the real stuff. Just between you and me... I defeated the dragon, Fairbrands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't trust me. Then take a look at this. This is the feather of Fairbrand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't touch it. You'll be poisoned by it. 
You don't trust me, right? Now, I want to introduce this great product to you. It's a powerful drug that even beats dragons, the Dragon Beater. For a limited time offer, I'll give you this dragon's feather for free. Is there a guy who defeated Fairbrand in here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm just gonna scoot along. Bye. <laughs> it must be you. Come with us. Oh, wait, 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 just a minute. I'm a businessman. I was lying about the dragon. Oh, no, no. Yo, that guy is definitely, he did. He's so dead. Anyways, right over here. What's this on the floor? We can find our three out of six, six, our six, three out of six stardust. <laughs> Anyways, we can also buy some stuff here from the man at the item shop. We can also sell some stuff, which I would recommend doing because we have a, a ton of stuff to sell. And then we can actually buy some stuff like the heat blade for dart. Look at that attack plus 11 attack to what he already has and it's fire base which is pretty dope uh we'll go ahead and equip that we can also get this for Shayna and go ahead and equip that as well even though we won't really be using her we also have a headpiece for dart that we can go ahead and put in and of course for albert as well this actually does lower their attack chance because the thing that we currently have equipped increases it by 10 percent but i think the magic attack and magic defense stats are just better and then for the first time ever we can finally get some uh leg pieces for our friends here. So we can go ahead and get this for Dart. And we can go ahead and get it for Albert. Pretty nice upgrade for both of the boys there. Uh, but that's pretty much all that we can do here in the item shop. So let's go ahead and, uh, and skadoodles out of here. And again, remember, we are three out of six Stardust. We can go right across the way here as well. Just so you can see what's in this room. A bunch of people walking around. We can actually get a little bit more of the story here. Something about Popo's house. I saw the soldiers making scary faces and hanging out there. Not quite sure what's going on in here. But uh, yeah, there's also a little area. So we can talk to this person. In the last few days, the guards became stricter. It seems they're expecting something. And then we can actually get this back door that leads to this back area here. There are two rooms in the back are called gripping rooms. Griping rooms? Your voice can't be heard on the outside, so they're good for releasing stress. So instead of actually going in these rooms, we can actually hear them right here. The new Sergio party, where people who won't assent to being ruled by power get together and help each other. The new Sergio party is a window to the salvation of the weak. When you are in trouble, rely on us. And what do we have here? The motto of the new Sergio party. Most importantly, end the war. The powerless should protect their house. Protect by fighting. I have said everything I want to say. Interesting. So there's like a little rebellion happening here in the Imperial Sandora capital. The Black Castle in Kazaz. Keep that in mind because that's actually going to be important uh, soon. All right, now we have done everything that we can in this first little map of uh, this area in Kazaz. So we're going to head up here. And let's cross the bridge to go into the castle. Wait just a minute. I don't think breaking through from the front gate will work. Let's do some more research. We may find a good way to sneak in. Hmm, Albert, very wise. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be the same the same conversation. And Albert's going to be like, yo, dude. Yeah, I don't think breaking through the front great way. Well, yeah, let's do some more research. Maybe in a good way. Yeah, yo, we were hurt those things. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go all the way back here to this. I don't, I don't even know what this is. It's weird. It used to be an old fort, I suppose. But now it's kind of, to me, where like, I don't know, the poor people, I guess, live here in Kazaz. It's a very weird area. But it used to be an old fort. So we can talk to these guys. When we came here, this fort was abandoned. It was a mess. Well, who are you? This war is going on and on, and we are short of medicine. I wonder how long we'll have to endure this. I don't know. Anyway, so we want to go right into this room right away. Uh, because there is a bookcase back here. Wow! Where we can find our fourth stardust in this area. Only two more to go. Now, you can talk to everybody if you so choose to see a little bit more about what's happening. Uh, but we are just going to continue on and use this ladder. Okay, and on our way back down here, we have one more room that we can go into. Well, two more, really, but this is the one that we want to go to before we continue the story. So right over in these barrels, we will find our fifth Stardust. Guys, we are cruising, and right over here, there is a stone in the water. We will find yet another Stardust, our last Stardust, my friends, uh, in this whole area. That is it for disc one. 
uh, we've got all the ones we can get. There's also obviously an area that you can come here to get rid of any uh, body or mind afflictions that you have. Uh, and there's also an item shop right here where you can buy some things. And I would recommend actually buying a couple fatal blizzards uh, because they will actually be kind of useful. So we're gonna grab we're gonna grab two of those, and then we're gonna continue all the way over here. Uh, where there's nothing. Uh, <laughs> my bad. We actually want to leave the room again. Sorry. And we want to head... All of these rooms, for some reason, all feel and look the same to me. <laughs> but anyways, this is where we really want to go. Because this kid, right here, is someone we want to talk to. Welcome to the ruins of the underground fortress. You guys look like new faces. What kind of kid voice is that? You want to join the new Sergio party, don't you? I want to let you in, but I need to ask three questions. I have to check you out. First question, which country do you want to win? Basil or Sandora? I cannot say which. The important thing is to end the war as soon as possible, not winning or losing. I think so too. Always hate or spite remains after the fight, regardless of whether you win or not. The second question, during the war, what should powerless kids like us do? Take care at home. We cannot send kids to battle, but somebody has to take care so that the people fighting have some place to come back to. I agree! There are some things we too can do. Okay, the last question. Why do people have to fight? To protect something. If war is to obtain or destroy something, I'll throw my sword away. I only fight to protect something. I think so too. People should only fight to protect something. I learned that from my grandpa. You had a good grandpa, but you are... I'm Popo! <sighs> Yo, Legend of Dragoon and Dragon Ball Z are connected! I am a representative of the new Sergio party. I am campaigning to help people who are having hard times because of the war. It is amazing. I heard about the party, but I didn't think the representative would be this young. Oh, you, uh, did we meet somewhere? You've, we've never met before, but you might know my face. I am Albert, the King of Basil. Oh my God, you, you are King Albert! As the kid's like flipping around. I've been waiting for this day to come. The King Albert liberates Kazaz and sets us free. That's what we are here for. We will end the war now. But I don't think these few people can break through the defenses of the Black Castle. Don't worry. We can do it. We can't tell you how, though. They say that the power once was the card that liberated humans from Wingleys. Now... It is the ace to open up our own fate. Ah, oh, it's like a dream. Now I can go look for my father and mother when the war ends. Don't waste time babysitting like that. Why don't you think about how to get into the castle? I, I'm just a kid, but I can show you how to get in the castle. Can you? Yes, this place used to be a fortress, so there's a secret path to get to the black castle. A secret path? Now we're closer to Dole. Come with me now. Please wait. If we fail, it'll be too risky for you. We'll come back after we prepare. I got it. I'll be waiting at the secret path. Please hurry up. All right, my friends. So this is our final time to do anything before we head into the Black Castle of Kazaz. So you can come back this way uh, if you wanted to leave and go do other things. Or, you know, maybe you wanted to go farm out the rest of those legendary casks. Anything that you wanted to do, now would be the time to do it. Once you proceed forward, my friends you no longer can come back and do anything. That's it. It leads to the end of disc one. That is a big deal of runies, okay? So if you're like, uh, even a little bit like, I don't know, maybe I wanna go farm up some stuff. Now is the time to do that. This is our final save point before we head into the Black Castle of Kazaz and face Emperor Dole himself, of course, in the next episode of The Legend of Dragoon. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this episode. You can catch me live on twitch.tv slash online Monday through Friday, where I am playing through every Final Fantasy and also doing a lot of World of Warcraft stuff and getting ready for World of Warcraft, Cla World of War World of Warcraft Classic. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, throw it a like. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And remember to never give up. Never surrender to the to the new Sergio part. Listen, I... Pfft.